What's up ladies and gentlemen, it is Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you all my review of The Martian. So The Martian is directed by Ridley Scott and based off a book by a guy whose name I did not research so I apologize. The screenplay is done by Drew Goddard, I believe, who also did Cabin in the Woods, which is a freaking awesome movie, so he's awesome. And overall, look, I'm gonna be upfront with you all. This movie is awesome. It is awesome. The Martian is the reason we go to the movies. Uh, we go to the movies to just be captivated by a story and an environment and just to feel for these characters and to laugh and be thrilled. And The Martian does all of that superbly superbly one of my favorite films of the year so let's start off with the directing ridley scott you know he's been a little hit or miss lately uh based on the opinions of some people uh i like prometheus you know i didn't see exodus gods gods and kings of kings of leon i didn't see that but <laughs> most people panned it for the most part um what i love about his direction is the in this is that for most of it, his direction is what carries the story. His unique, just sweeping shots and angles that he'll choose and things of that nature that, that, that bring out the performance and that, uh, the importance of the performance and brings out the importance of the environment is just so great. And it's just one of those reasons why we love Ridley Scott and the way he can pull together such a thrilling and captivating scene is just, oh, it's just so breathtaking. I love this movie so much, and I love Ridley Scott's direction. I loved every bit of Mars. Uh, I kind of wish I had seen the film in 3D. I, I went to go see this movie with my friend Chris, and he had previously seen the movie, and he saw it in 3D. And he said, what, one of the things that, you know, he's like, you, you may not really need 3D, but one thing that was, one thing, one aspect that was definitely superior in 3D was the landscapes and the look of Mars, which is gorgeous. And I don't know what Red Desert they actually filmed on and added CGI to possibly, but yeah, it was gorgeous. And then you get into the acting and you get to the scenes on Earth and those just captivate me as well. And that was one of the things that really surprised me about this film is just how funny it is and just how it, it, it celebrates life in such a great and fantastic way. I really, really enjoyed that aspect of the script and the, the survival aspect and not just about surviving physically, but preserving our humanity and preserving uh our, our love of life and preserving our appreciation for human connection i think that's one aspect of the story in the script that i just truly truly appreciate now in regards to breaking down each individual actor and actress they all knock it out of the freaking park one person i want to focus on in particular is the guy who you know gets stranded on mars matt damon fantastic this is my favorite Matt Damon performance, I'd, I'd probably say. And there's not much on my list of his favorite performances, to be honest. But I just think he really blew me away with this and really got into the character. And he got into the emotional aspects and the, the humor of this character. And it's really brought it to life in a, in a place that's so void, you know, in a place that is very isolating. You know, you always feel like you're, you're giving him company and at the same time, you feel so distant from him. And I, I really enjoyed that aspect of Matt Damon's performance. I really think he carried what he needed to carry and whatever he couldn't, the direction made up for that on the scenes of Mars. Although there were, at times, I felt the direction kind of robbed the actors of having uh, emotional moments. It kind of like, there are certain times where Matt Damon is going through some serious crap, but uh, you don't really get to dig as deep as I wanted to into his reactions. Like I said, this isn't, this is a pretty, not necessarily lighthearted film, but it, it, it whole it wants to grasp onto humor in such a dire situation, which is very important. And I'm not asking for the film to go like into this deep, dark, introspective Hitchcock type thing, you know? I just wanted to dig a little deeper with the emotions and the themes that it was bringing up. But besides that, 
Matt Damon still carried it, knocked it out of the park. Every single other person in the cast was just phenomenal. Michael Pena, Jessica Chastain, oh, lovely. Um, <laughs> Kate Mara, the other guy who was on there that's not Sebastian, Winter Soldier. Bleh. They were great, all the other astronauts. Everyone who, who was in the Earth scenes did great. Uh, Sean Bean, <laughs> classic. Spoiler alert, he actually didn't die in this movie. Uh, <laughs> which is always the joke. Donald Glover was great in the little moments we got to see him. Yay, Childish Gambino. As well as it would tell Edgy of Four, who is just increasingly becoming one of my favorite actors. Like, every single thing I've seen him in is just, oh, it's just great. And I recently watched Children of Men for the first time. And wow, he just blew me away with that. Um, one person in the supporting cast who I definitely think needs to be acknowledged almost more than any person in this film is Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels is an extraordinary actor in the way he is able to bring to life a character so subtly and through just little nuances, little ticks, the little way he may even shrug. He is so meticulous and careful about some of the things he does, but is very natural with his actions. It's so captivating to see him work. I personally think Jeff Daniels deserves to be nominated for Best Supporting Actor because right now he just, he just truly blew me away in this film. Because I think when you look at that film, there's so much riding on Jeff Daniels' shoulders that you don't see that's strictly from an acting perspective. Just what he brings just elevates this movie so much. And I think it elevates a lot of the people he's in a scene with. So I personally think Jeff Daniels just did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. And I cannot sing high enough praises about his work in it enough. Just awesome. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that brings me to the verdict. And the verdict is, this movie is awesome. I'm giving this movie a 9 out of 10. So, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think of The Martian? Did you like it? Did you not? You're like, Daniel, it's overrated. Please stop recommending movies. Comment in the comment sections down below and we can chitter chat it and let me know what you thought about it. If you liked my review, hit that like button down below and subscribe to become a part of the Geek Nation. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to 300 subscribers. And each and every one of you matter. So please, please, please subscribe and become a part of this because it's going to be awesome. And one last thing, don't forget to get geeky.